right guys so i'm here in taipei taiwan i'm actually tired <laughs> i don't know why but i'm really tired right now and uh today i'm just gonna take it easy um tomorrow i'm gonna do some exploring but tonight i'm gonna get some mcdonald's and uh you know we'll see what the city has to offer tomorrow and uh for the next couple of days and uh taipei is super busy like when i got here from the airport and i took the train uh, to the hotel it was pretty overwhelming it was so many people on the train uh it was pretty unbelievable so i'm just gonna uh I'm gonna uh, get something to eat for tonight. I think I'm gonna call it a night. And uh, I'll probably be in a better uh, travel mode tomorrow. So I will show you more from Taipei, Taiwan tomorrow. So hope all is well. We'll see you soon. Hey guys behind me is a taipei 101 it when it was built it was the tallest building in the world uh, i don't know what it is now but it ain't the tallest because there's a building right beside it that's taller uh, they have a uh, observation deck we're gonna try to check it out we're gonna try i don't know if i can get in there or not because it is sunday here but for it to be sunday it's pretty doggone busy, buses everywhere, uh, and people are chilling. But uh, yeah, let's check out Taipei 101 and see what we can see up there.
Top of Taipei 101, I'm on the 89th floor. So you pretty much get a view of the whole city. Uh, you get mountain view, you get the whole skyline, and this skyline here is massive. Uh, for a Sunday, it's pretty busy. Uh, you get great, great views of the city and probably its suburbs. It's a little, I guess, moggy up here. But yeah, it's still, the views are beautiful.
Try to get dumplings in the restaurant in Taipei. Um, like all of the restaurants here in Taipei, you got a long wait. And uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to wait. So every restaurant I've been to has had like extremely long waits. So hopefully I can get them. If I can't, wow. If I can't, um, then um, we'll try it again in Tokyo. Um, a couple of things about Taiwan, uh, Taipei, that uh, I see and I don't like. But we'll talk about it when I get home. Um, but yeah, trying to get some food. Kind of hard to score food out here. Uh, the lines are super, super long. Um, so, let's see. So, getting the dumplings was a no-go, a super no-go. Uh, the line was way too long. So, tonight, I'm trying a restaurant called Zang Duck. So, gonna get, you know, half a duck and some uh, rice and uh, be cool with that. But, uh, you know, I haven't been really eating that much since I've been on vacation, so. We're just gonna do some duck and rice and call it a day. And uh, call it a night. We'll try again the dumpling place tomorrow. Hopefully, we can get it. You know, if not, maybe the next trip. All right, see you later. So, as I said, I ended up getting Zhang duck. Uh, this is, I came back to the room. I'm tired. Um, so this is what their Zane Duck box look like. Let's open it up. Hopefully they got some silverware in this joker. This is artesian carved roast duck. All right. Okay, I see tortillas. All right, little tortillas. We weren't expecting that. Um, can't read this. Okay. Uh, I guess some sauce, some pepper, and let's see, the duck. Smells good. I'm not using the tortillas for this thing. All right. Um, what else I get? I don't know what this is. We'll try it out and see what it is. And then they got this stuff packaged real good where I'm having a hard time taking the tops off. This is some rice, white rice. I see no utensils to eat any of this stuff. 
And this is porridge with duck in it. I've had porridge before at Joe's. Uh, shout out Joe, ATF. Uh, and I really enjoy it. And I hope I can enjoy this tonight if I can get some silverware because that's the one thing I don't have. Um, I can't eat any of this with my fingers, except the duck. Well, I'll get back with you. Okay, so this is what the pores look like. I must look gritty, oatmeal-ish. Uh, yeah, so this is the porridge. It has duck meat in it. Let's try it. So, it pretty much has a grit texture um, from stirring it. Um, I don't see, let's see. You can see it, but yeah, it's a gritty texture. Sorry, y'all can't see it. This is what it looks like. I tell you, I don't know if it's, it's like grits, but you can taste like the poultry. It has um, celery, onions, um, It seems like I got a hint of seafood in it, but I can't tell. It, it's like a subtle hint of like crab or something. But it's hot and soothing, so it's pretty good. Yeah, digging it. Let's try what's next. We're going to try some of this duck. It should be really good. It smells good. Let's try it. So this is a piece of duck. It was roasted. I don't have nothing on it. Let's try it as is. Well roasted. It's a balanced flavor. It's not overly gamey. Um, not salty. It's pretty, pretty decent duck. Um, yeah, it's good. Let's see what these sauces. Let's see. Um, there's stuff moving around where you can't see it. It's a, damn, I can't even do this right. This, <laughs> let's see what it's like with that. Let's get a small little piece of this duck. Um, try it, but yeah, Taiwan, it's pretty cool. Um, oh, the sauce is a no-go, it's sweet. That ruined the flavor. Um, now that's too sweet. Um, a piece of onion. I think this is another glaze sauce, like a glaze sauce. We'll try it. I'm gonna push it to the side. This duck. Push this other glaze over here but um some of the people are like in a rush all the time so they get kind of pushy um that's the only thing i like i can say about taiwan i don't like people are you know they are pushy and they'll try to cut you if they can if you're in a line and uh but other than that, I'm not going to say they're overly friendly. Um, they're not, you know, they're busy people. So, but it's about to see and do here. Tomorrow we're going to check out 
you know, some more things, and then we're off to the next spot. Um, the night food scene is just, for me, is overly crowded. Um, so I don't want to be, excuse me, I don't want to be in large, large crowds like that, right in the metro system. By far, it's the most crowded system I've ever been on. Um, that beats Chengdu, um, any system in America, India, is by far way too crowded for my liking. Um, so I'm not comfortable in crowds like that. Um, the streets, you know, right now it's like seven o'clock. Still got a good crowd and it's Sunday. So it's like, wow. But it's a cool city. Um, the temperature's not too bad. It is hot, but it's not that bad. Um, so it's a it's a place that you can put on a bucket list, you know, to come to. And say you've been, then you can check out that building there. Um, that was a pretty cool thing because you can see the whole city. Uh, I really enjoyed that, and uh, we're gonna check out some more stuff tomorrow. Um, let's check try this little piece of. I don't know what it is. Um, look like some kind of bread like this hold on check this out sorry i had to try to bite it open but like something bready i think it goes with the with the uh porridge i guess it does it's like a crouton or something like that. I guess you break it off in the porch. And um and eat it with the porch. Or at least that's what I'm gonna do. But uh yeah, this zinged up. It's a solid 9.5. Um uh, pretty good. I wouldn't use that sweet and sour sauce, I stick to the original glaze. I'm just eating that by so. But yeah. Dentai phone couldn't do it. If you would have seen how long that line was, and it was like a 90 minute wait. I'm not waiting for food like that. So better luck next time. Um a lot of the places I've been to, those lines, ridiculous. So we're not doing it. So we'll see y'all a little bit later. I'm gonna enjoy my dinner and I'm going to bed. See you. Good morning from Taiwan still. Um, doing my little morning walk. Go get a couple of breakfast items from 7-Eleven. Uh, over here they have uh, these tea eggs at the 7-Eleven. That's pretty good. And uh, walk with me. So this is a tea egg. Shout out to that rude ass guy at the 7-Eleven. Um, yeah, you're awfully rude, my guy. Um, but these are the tea eggs. They apparently haven't soaked too long um, today. Cause usually they're a darker color, but I mean, they still have a, a tint to it. But these things are 
pretty tasty. So this is what they look like. Let me get the shell off. I don't want to eat shell. She whiz. It's hard trying to do this when trying to balance the camera. But this is what it looks like. It's a unique, a unique flavor. It already has like the salt in there, so you don't have to salt or put pepper on them. It's like they're seasoned very well. These are pretty good. So when you go to China and Taiwan and places like that, try one of these. So hey guys, we're gonna try um, this breakfast spot, M1 Dining. Um, they have omelets and things like that. We're gonna try them out, see how they are. I got their, um, their I guess their locations omelet. Let's see what it's like. Um, it's pretty modernized. They're playing a lot of American music. Um, pretty cool little spot. Um, trying not to show too much. Um, I don't know how the people are about being filmed and stuff like that. It's a pretty quaint, tiny little spot. Um, but we're going to try the food and see how it is. Pretty good. That's a, it's a lot fluffier. I think they're using this brio fresh. Yeah, it's a pretty good flavor. I like it. Okay. Looks pretty good. Thank you. So let's try it. So, that one like got avocado, stuff like that. Let's see how it is. Pretty good. That's brown. We know what has brown taste like. Yeah. Let's try this yogurt. I don't know what it is. Got oatmeal and stuff like that. So it's vanilla the yogurt with granola. Pretty tart. But overall, it's good. It's like a standard American breakfast. That's true. That's um, M1 Cafe. Check them out. Alright, 
trying this guy cheesecake. Let's see how it tastes. It looks pretty rich. Let's see. Let's see how it tastes. Wow, it's different. It's good. It's soft. Oh, I'm getting a little hard crust on that side. It's almost like cream brulee. So, it's different. But it hit. See, it's creamy. So, it's not really like dense like our cheesecakes. But it's more like a brulee. This it, man. This place is legit. So I'm in luck. I was able to come back to the dumpling place today and uh, I'm able to order dumplings. I got pork dumplings and I got vegetable dumplings and I got noodles. Um, I'm gonna try, try them out and then I got egg drop food. I'm gonna try them out at the hotel cause it is busy in here. Uh, yeah, everything in Taiwan is, is pretty busy. Uh, we're gonna check it out and go from there. Right. So this is what I have. These are the vegetable dumplings. These are pork dumplings. This is a pork noodle. And egg drop soup. I don't know why they gave me two. I appreciate it. But, um, yeah, this is egg drop soup. So, this is what we got. And we're going to try to enjoy it. So, here we are. Uh, back at the room, we're going to try the vegetable dumpling first. Let's try. Pretty chewy. I taste turnip greens. No. It's not bad. Uh, the turnips, of course, turnip greens are known for overpowering stuff. And, you know, these turnips, yeah, it's good. And that's without. these sauces to help it out so you know the sauce gonna make it right but yeah it's good um you know if you're if you don't mess with meat it's a good option i like it this is pork Mm-hmm. The traditional pork dumpling. <laughs> Test the ginger, the pork. These are pretty solid. Okay, I enjoy that. Try this edge wrap suit. Oh my god. Third degree burn. Oh wow. That's hot. Good though. Hot. 
tastes different than what you get in America. But it's, it's still good. I, I'm digging it. I'll be out. So I'm about to check out the market. Um, and I'm catching a Metro to that market. And it is like a ton of people trying to catch the train. So looking forward to being in an iron worm with a whole bunch of people. And uh, we're gonna check out that market, see what kind of food and things they have. And uh, we're gonna wrap up. We're gonna wrap up our time here in Taipei, Taiwan. And we're off to the next place. Uh, yeah, Taiwan's a, a pretty happening city. It's not really a diverse city. Um, it's a lot of people. Uh, I think it's about four million people, like in the area. Uh, personally, it seemed like it's way more people uh, than that. I know the metro system. Stay busy. So it's it's a doozy. But uh, yeah, like I said, we're gonna check out this this market. Um, and see how it is and check out the sites around that area and uh, we'll check it out together.
good. Let's get one.
I've had a long day. So I'm about to leave Taiwan and I'm going to Japan. Right now I'm at the lounge at the airport and having a little bit of breakfast to check out what I got so far. Breakfast. This is a hash brown green. These are pork meatballs. Of course, the tea eggs and a fried dumpling of some salt. So this is what we have so far. Yeah, so it's, it's cool in it's cool in Taiwan. It's a little different, you know. The people aren't as friendly as um, I expected. Um, you know, China, they're a little bit more friendlier. Okay, regular hash brown. It's cold though. Let it flavor well. Um, it's a lot of people. So if you want to be around a lot of people, cool place. They do have their, their country size. I didn't really venture out into the countryside like that. Maybe on the next trip. Um, it's a lot, a lot of history here. Um, it's a, it's a lot to see and do. So, being in Taiwan, you need like a week or more. You know, these three days trips that I do, Taiwan's not the place for it. But it's pork dumpling. I think it's pork. It may not even be pork. But whatever it is, I think it's chicken. It's good. Um, so I got two more stops before I go home and hit the dusty trail again. Japan, and then I go back to Fiji. So, stay tuned. You know, it's, it's almost over, but it's not over yet. Um, let's try this pork meatball. It's good. It's cold, but it's good. But my boy Joe got me prepared to eat cold food. Shout out Joe. This is hot and good. So, yeah man, so far so good. Been a good time away from Florida, work. Been very, I enjoyed it so far. All right, I'll see y'all later.